Hi guys, welcome to Grayson's seven month update. Grayson is seven months now and is getting into everything and I just can't believe how big he is. Like, look at this outfit. He's wearing a shirt and pants with these little khaki joggers and I think he just, he doesn't look like a baby. He looks like a toddler. Like, where's my baby? He likes looking at himself in the, in the camera. At seven months old, Grayson is 18 pounds even. And he is 27 inches long. The big thing this month is Grayson is now crawling, which is crazy and scary for me, exciting for Gray because he just likes to get into everywhere now. But it's very nerve wracking for me because we have not baby proofed our home. And so we are scrambling, trying to get everything, you know, covered and put away. Um, and Grayson just likes getting into everything and anything that he should not get into. Um, he especially likes cords. <laughs> he likes to bounce. Um, but yeah, he likes to get in the cords. Sometimes when people come in through the door, leaves will come in and like collect around the door and Grayson likes to go and try and eat them. He likes to chase Felix around, which Felix, down at the bottom of this video right here, does not quite like that because Grayson still has not learned how to pet nicely. And so Felix does try to avoid Grayson if he can, but Grayson is more mobile now. Um, he started crawling like around Halloween time. And so he was like six and a half months then. And um, he didn't really start like really, really crawling, like hand knee crawling until um, probably about like the week that he turned seven months. So he is full go now. Here are some videos of him crawling. Oh, please don't. Oh, okay. Oh. Yes, he is on the move and it's crazy. I did not think he would be crawling this early, um, but um, hopefully we can all just uh, keep him safe and, you know, further his development. And he, as you can see, he loves to be on the go. He does not like to sit still. So I'm not sure how long he'll stay in my lap for this video. In addition to crawling, Grayson also is starting to pull up on things. He can't really do that much. I don't think he's gotten that much like muscle strength yet, but he does try to like go over to, he'll crawl to the couch and then he'll try to like pull up. Or like if I'm laying on the ground next to him, he'll go to my legs and like try to pull up on my legs. So he's just in the beginning stages of wanting to do that, which I'm like, oh my God. Like, I cannot even think about you standing and walking right now. I'm just starting to get used to you crawling. Grayson loves to stand. As you can see, he's doing that right now. <laughs> he likes to stand and be a big boy. Um, he's already gotten the sitting down, and that's old news now. So now he likes to stand. Grayson, I've noticed this past month that he's just talking so much more. Um, usually, if I talk to him and ask him a question, he's smiling he will respond to me I mean obviously he can't say anything but he'll be like eh, 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 eh. like he'll just talk and talk and talk and so I feel like in the past couple of months like no let me back up so I feel like when he first got his voice he used it a lot and then we went about a month or two where he just really didn't talk very much and he was just kind of quiet and I feel like this month he's just started to like talk more often now and like vocalize what he wants he's much more assertive of um I want you to pick me up he'll raise his arms now for me to pick him up which I think is the cutest thing he will scream if he doesn't like something or if I'm not sharing my food with him um he likes to talk to um we call it his fake friends I have a fake snowman in my family room because it's Christmas time and he likes to talk to the snowman um he'll talk to Felix the cat um he loves he's very like social and he loves to talk to everybody he, that passes by and smiles at everybody he passes by and of course it like makes everyone's day so he is a little social animal and I just love him so much 
Okay, I had to put him down because he's getting a little fussy. Grayson loves animals, um, especially we have a cat named Felix, and so he loves Felix, like I was saying earlier. He chases Felix everywhere. Um, he always wants to be by Felix. Um, of course, Felix doesn't really feel the same way because, you know, Grayson hasn't quite gotten the pet nicely down. He just goes and grabs a bunch of Felix's fur. Um, but my parents have a dog, they have a mini Labradoodle, and Grayson and her are like best friends whenever we go to visit. Grayson and the dog, um, you know, they'll give each other kisses, and they'll, you know, just play around, and the dog doesn't seem to mind Grayson so much when Grayson's like all over her, so it's a much better pairing than Grayson and Felix. Um, but yeah, Grayson just loves animals. Um, anytime we hear like birds, I'm always like, oh, bird. And he'll like look up in the sky. And we have like a bunch of books, animal books, and he loves looking at them. And especially if I say like, oh, um, you know, dog goes woof, woof. Like he likes to hear like what the animal makes. Grayson this past month has discovered lights um, everywhere. And, um, I don't know how he just like discovered it, but we were just walking out of his room one day to head downstairs and right at the top of our stairs in the hallway is a ceiling light and it was on and I was walking and all of a sudden he just like looks up and stops and stares. And so of course it made me stop. Like, what are you looking at? And ever since then, he's just obsessed with lights. I don't know why that is. He loves looking at the light. So anytime we pass by a light, he has to stop and stare. And he's gotten so smart, I, I, mean, I think he's really smart, that he knows the word light. So if we're in a room, let me see if he can do it. Grayson, where's the light? Oh, the light. Yeah, so he is very smart and he knows what the word light means. So anytime we're anywhere, and it could be at the grocery store or whatever, if I say, the light, where's the light? He usually tries and locates where the light is and it's the cutest thing. He stares at it with his mouth wide open. And <laughs> I just think he's so cute. And it's like the perfect timing because we're just starting the Christmas season. It's like a week before Thanksgiving right now. And so I'm so excited for him to see, you know, the lights on the Christmas tree. And we, we have zoo passes for at our local zoo. And I can't wait for him to go to lights at the zoo and see all the lights. And I think he's just going to... He's gonna love it. <laughs> Look at the light again. So it's so cute. Grayson now says mama. Yes, he has said mama before dada. -da. We've been trying to get him to say dada, -da, but he has not even done the da 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 sound. Um, he does say mama, but he does not say it on command. And obviously he does not know. I don't think he realizes like I'm mama. He doesn't really say it that often. It's funny, the only time that he really says mama is when he's upset. <laughs> <laughs> so like if I put him down and he wants to be held and I walk away, he'll just be like, mama. <laughs> so I'm um, not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but yes, he has said mama before Dada. Grayson has two teeth. I'm not sure if I mentioned that in my last video. They were just coming through in his six month update and now at his seven month, he has two teeth. Can you see it? Oh no, his, his tongue is in front of me. I'll post a picture right here. So yeah, it's his um, bottom two middle teeth. Um, his bottom left one came in first and then his bottom right one was like right behind and now they're basically like at the same height. And I think he's about to get more teeth because he has been drooling a lot and he's been really fussy and I think he's been having a lot of like teething pain. Um, and so I think more teeth are to come. I, although they say that, you know, babies usually get their bottom middle two teeth first and then their top middle two teeth next. But I don't think his top middle two teeth are coming in. I think it's more teeth on the bottom. And so I think that's really hurting him. Grayson loves songs. He loves nursery rhymes. He loves when I sing to him. If he's ever upset, if I just start singing, usually that can calm him down. He has a book with nursery rhymes. We push button and it'll play different songs. And he absolutely loves that book, always has. Um, I'm always trying to come up with new songs to sing to him because he does get bored. <laughs> when I sing the same song over and over again. But he loves songs, he always smiles super big. I can't wait for the day where he can actually like 
sing along with me. <laughs> Grayson loves reading books. So like I was saying earlier, we have lots of books about animals and we've got that nursery singing book. He just loves it and he is so cute. When I read him a book, he's, he'll just sit and he'll concentrate and look and he puts his hands on, like rests his hands on the tops of his thighs and he just like stares and he's just staring at the book and he doesn't move much and he doesn't talk much and it is so cute to see him you know look at the books and he likes the word baby and we have a it's like my first 100 words and so there's a lot of babies playing with things in it and so i'm always like oh the baby the baby and he's always like staring at it this month um grayson had a lot of firsts um we went and visited my grandma his great grandma who lives down in florida Yes, we did. So for the first time ever, Grayson went on an airplane ride. Uh, my mom went along with me, so it wasn't just me and Grayson, which was really nice to have the help. It was a little tough, not gonna lie. It, I was worried about takeoff and landing because you know, like your ears pop and with babies, it's like more severe because they have like a smaller canal. He didn't mind takeoff and landing at all. I was waiting to feed him, you know, so that when we did take off and land, he would be eating. So like the swallowing would help like clear his ears but he didn't want to and so he just stared out the window the whole time and was perfectly fine didn't cry at all he did cry during the flight don't get me wrong he would just he's you know he's crawling now so he wants to get up and move he doesn't like being confined and sitting he hates his high chair now and he hates his bouncer because he just wants to crawl and move around it was hard to keep him still and keep him entertained the flight was like two hours so it wasn't too long but it was still like really hard to keep him contained thankfully he did sleep for about an hour both ways so that was easier but um, on the way back, our flight was delayed an hour and it messed up like his um, sleep schedule. And so it just like kind of really made it hard and he was just like really fussy on the ride back. He did better on the ride there, but thankfully like he's cute and a baby. And so a lot of people are like, oh, he's so cute. And you know, they're willing to forgive him <laughs> for his loud noises and thankfully we weren't on like a night flight or anything like that it was just during the day so it's not like people are trying to sleep or anything we have a couple more flights coming up so that was a good like trial run i guess um we're going to cancun in a month um in december and then we're gonna go to florida twice next year so lots of flights coming up it was also grayson's obviously his first time to florida he'd never been to um florida before so that was new one of the days that we were in Florida. We went to Disney World. My grandma uh, lives near Orlando. And so we were like, why not? Let's go. So my mom and I and Grayson all went to Disney World. First time to Disney World. And of course you get to Disney, you either have to take the monorail or, or we went to Man Magic Kingdom, by the way. You had to take the monorail or the ferry. So we took the ferry, so that was Grayson's first boat ride. And then one of the rides that we went on in Disney was the train ride, so he, that was his first train. I was really kind of iffy on how it was gonna go and how he was gonna do at Disney, just because he's he was six months at the time. And so I wasn't sure if he was either, even gonna like know what was going on, if he was gonna care, if the like, you know, a lot of the rides are dark, like they're all inside, a lot of them are. And so I wasn't sure like how he was gonna do, but actually he loved Disney. The It's a Small World ride was his absolute favorite. We went on it twice and I'll sh and put a video of it here. <laughs> Um, you know, on the if you've ever been, it's just a bunch of dolls, old looking dolls singing the same song over and over and over again. It's a small world. Look it up on YouTube if you've never been. And you know, all the dolls are singing. And I think at his age, he thinks all the dolls are real. And Grayson really loves kids. He likes watching kids, you know, run around. We don't have a lot of kids, you know, in my family. He's the first baby born in both my family and Anthony's yeah. family. Yeah, and so anyway, he smiled the whole ride and he was talking, talking to the kids, smiling. I think he thought they were smiling at him and so he was smiling back and it was the cutest thing in the world. <laughs> 
he loved that ride. He also loved the Little Mermaid ride because in one of the scenes, it's all the fish singing under the sea and he loved it. But every ride we went on, he loved. We even took him on the Haunted Mansion, which if you've been, it's kind of like a dark, it's really dark and it's a more scarier ride. Um, not like boo, but it's just like, you know, there's ghosts and haunted and things like that. He didn't care, which I didn't think he would. I read online that like, if your baby's like six months and things, like they don't understand to be scared. They don't get that yet. But if you took your kid at like two or three, they would probably be scared. So yeah, he didn't care about any of that. He loved it. He just sat on my lap or my mom's lap. Um, he took a nap in the stroller for a little bit. He took a nap while we were waiting in line. Um, we, we went in November and so it was not too busy. And so the longest we had to wait was 55 minutes and that was the Peter Pan ride. Other than that, like we waited you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes here and there. So the one time we had to wait really long, it actually worked out well because Grayson ended up just sleeping in my arms. Um, I think I have a picture of it. I'll put it in here. It worked out really well and he did awesome. We stayed almost all day. Um, we got there at 9.30 in the morning and uh, stayed there until like 5.30 and they were doing like the Mickey's Christmas thing. So the park was only open till six anyway and it worked perfect because he wouldn't last much longer. We were kind of done. We basically did like all the indoor rides. It was still like 89 degrees and super sunny in Florida. So we didn't want to be outside too much. So we didn't do like the outdoor rides like Dumbo and Magic Carpet and all that. But we did like Haunted Mansion and, and Little Mermaid and Winnie the Pooh and the carousel. You know, we did all the things that were under shade and it wasn't too busy like I was saying. And we had a really fun time. Um, we're gonna go back to Disney because we're going back to Florida in June of next year. And so it'll be interesting to see. He'll be over a year old by that time. We'll see how he does and if he still loves it, which I'm sure he will. I love Disney. Um, my husband Anthony is like, take it or leave it. But I love Disney. And so I hope he becomes a Disney fan like me. This past month, it was October. And so we celebrated Halloween. So Grayson had his first Halloween and he dressed up as a cow. Here's a picture. He was so cute. <laughs> um, I got the outfit for 20 bucks from Target. So it was not too bad. And his age was so hard because there were so many Halloween costumes that were zero to six or six to 12 months. And Grayson was six months at Halloween. And so it was like, well, do I get one where he might be too big for it or one that's gonna like swamp him? So yeah, I had a real dilemma of trying to figure out which costume to get him. But Grayson is a little bit on the small side. If you've been watching my monthly updates, every time we go to the doctor, he's in like the 30th or 40th percentile for weight and height. So I got one, the zero to six month one, and it worked. He was definitely it like a little like it was hard to put the hood up on him because he was a little bit big for it but it worked and I mean I actually got good use out of it because we he went to a mom's group where they had a Halloween party and then um we went to two trick-or-treats we did one in my neighborhood and then one of my second cousin's neighborhood and it was really fun here's a picture of us trick-or-treating <laughs> So he did great. He loved the lights. You know, everybody decorates their house. And so he loved looking at all the lights of it. And we just had a really good time. Grayson loves chewing on pacifiers. I think I said that in the last video too, because it's been a while that he's like that. But he loves pacifiers, but not what they're intended for. He does not like to suck on pacifiers, but he loves to chew on them. I think it feels good on his gums. Um, instead of sucking on pacifiers, he likes to suck on his two fingers still. Um, I'm sure I have a video or a picture I can input here of him doing that. He loves sucking on his fingers. He does that to self-soothe, which is amazing because at night when I put him down to bed, it's not like, oh, he takes a pacifier and throws it and now he's upset. No, he's got his two fingers which are attached to him. So it's still working out really well for us. Another big thing this month is Grayson is now old enough to sit in the shopping cart seat by himself. Um, in the past, I either had to take him in the stroller or had to put like his car seat in the cart and then I couldn't get that much grocery. So I basically just like avoided the grocery store other unless like I would go by myself at night when he was asleep or if I knew I wasn't getting that much I just take the stroller and put things in like the bottom of the stroller but now he is big enough that he 
can fit in the shopping cart. We did get like a shopping cart cover. They sell them on like Amazon. I think I got one through Boppy. He is like a little bit small for it. Like he does sit, like obviously he can sit by himself, but he likes to like lean over this way or that way and then he'll get stuck. And then he's looking at the ceiling light in the store and he's like moving this way or that way. So we still have some kinks to work out. He does like the store and it's so much easier now to be able to go during the day with him. Here's a picture of him in the shopping cart. Grayson does seem to want more independence, um, more assertive. He definitely lets you know when he's happy, when he's sad, when he's mad. We're trying to work on him telling me what he wants. So I'm trying to teach him sign language. I'm trying to teach him eat, more, milk, um, all done. So I'm trying to teach him things like that because he does get frustrated when I can't understand like what he wants. Food wise, um, so I was very proud of myself and I was able to completely breastfeed Grayson for the first six months of his life. I did not use formula once. I was very proud of myself for that. But once we reached six months, Grayson kind of, I don't know if it was my milk supply took a dive and didn't replenish as much or Grayson just got hungrier and needed more and I just couldn't increase my supply. I'm not really sure what happened, but at six months I just couldn't keep up anymore and so I had to start supplementing with formula, which I was totally fine with. Since like two or three months, I've been having to mostly pump my milk because Grayson like wouldn't nurse. So it's been a long time coming. I had a hard time with it in the beginning and now that I'm a couple, like a month or so into it, I'm feeling better about it. I'm still pumping. I was pumping like every four or five hours. Now I've cut it down to I just pump once in the morning and once in the evening and pretty soon I'll just cut that out all together. So I've basically put Grayson on formula now. He does fine with it. Um, I've tried multiple different formulas and he doesn't seem to have a problem with any of them that I put him on. Formula is expensive so I do try to like find coupons and things for that. I seem to be having a lot of problem lately though with his spit up. He spits up a lot and I'm not quite sure if it's the bottle and he gets like a lot of air and so that makes him like burp and then he spits up or if it's the formula. I am having problems with that. I did switch bottles. I was doing like the Spectra ones that came with my pump and I switched to the Tommy Tippy ones and those seem to be getting better. So he doesn't spit up as much but he is still spitting up a lot so I'm experimenting with different formulas to see if like maybe that will help. I'm not quite sure. We have been um, feeding Grayson lots of different solids as well. So he's been doing, I wrote down the list, eggs, Fruit Loops, waffles, french fries, breadsticks, goldfish, apples, pears, Cheez-Its, and more. Especially on our trip, we had free breakfast at our hotel, and so Grayson was just trying a little bit this, that, and everything. And so he likes, he likes basically any solid food that you're eating, he wants to try, which is fine. Um, the problem that I have been having lately is feeding him baby food. So I've been doing fruits lately, and it seems like almost every fruit he does not like, which I am shocked because because you would think babies would like fruits more than vegetables, but I fed him bananas. He hates bananas. Um, he'll do okay if you feed him like an actual banana, but if you feed him like the puree, hates it. Um, apples, which I thought he would love, he'll eat it, but he really doesn't care for it. Pears are okay. Peaches he does pretty well with. Um, but I was just like surprised that actually the best fruit that he liked was prunes. He loves prunes, which I thought, oh great, a fruit that he loves, that's awesome. No, wrong, because you know what prunes do? They make you poop. And yes, they made him poop bad. He, I mean, beforehand he was pooping like once every other day, maybe every two days, no. Prunes made him poop every day and he had a blowout every day would ruin his swaddle would ruin his clothes it was terrible so i will never do that again but he loves prunes i think the other problem with it is that he doesn't like being confined in his car seat his his uh bouncer or his high chair so of course i have to put him in his high chair to feed him and i think he gets really frustrated when he can't move so i'm trying to work with like giving him a spoon to play with while i feed him or i sing to him he seems to respond to that it's just a struggle right now grayson has been more snuggly lately which i absolutely love um he will lay out his head on my shoulder and snuggle up to me which has not been him 
like up until now he usually is just go 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 and does not really like to snuggle but he has been snuggling so much more lately the other day we were just sitting on on the recliner and he just leaned back into me we were just rocking back and forth and i just think it's so cute i have been training him lately to learn how to give kisses here's a video of him doing that give the baby a kiss give the baby kisses just learned how to give kisses. <laughs> yeah, you're so nice. That's a nice boy. Give the baby a kiss. Give the baby. <laughs> oh, this is funny. Give the baby a kiss. You gonna kiss the baby? Oh, it's so nice. <laughs> oh, it's so nice. That's a good boy. So he loves giving the baby in the mirror, which is him, kisses. And I'm working on him, like wanting to give me kisses and Anthony kisses, which he'll do every so often, but not as often as I like, but I think it's so cute. So I think that's all um, for Grayson's seven month update. This is a really long video, so sorry about that, but I feel like the six month and seven month and you know these past two months so much has changed and so many things have happened next month will i'm sure a lot will be new too because you know we have the holidays coming up and we're gonna go see santa and we're gonna go and have thanksgiving and eat new food so i'm sure there'll be lots to update on next month as well but thanks for tuning in i hope you enjoyed this update so that's all for now i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys Bye.